Hey what's up everyone, in today's video we are going to learn how to create this abstract text animation inside HitFilm Pro. Uh, I tried to create this effect with HitFilm Express as well but it didn't work out as expected. Uh, we are going to use the clone effect to create this animation which is only available in HitFilm Pro. But I'm sure there will be an add-on that you guys can use in HitFilm Express as well. So I'm going to create a new composite chart and I'm going to call this text one for the duration I'm going to go with 10 seconds and 30 FPS 19 20 and I'm going to hide the height I'm going to change that to 315 and click on OK let's create a new text layer and I'm going to type in my text so I'll just type in triangle and let's bring in this text in the center go to the layout tab and click on this icon let's say the line vertical middle and still if it's your text is not in the center you can use the selection tool and just eyeball this and try to bring it in the center okay the font that i'm using for this is bbass and i've also increased the font size to 400 um, if you want to use the same font you can go ahead and use that font it's called bbass new which is a free font and now i want to create a skewed text so by default we don't have any skew and anim skew a uh, function in uh, HitFilm Pro, even HitFilm Express. So to skew your text, we'll use an effect called Quad Warp and apply it on the text. Go to the controls and go to the expand the Quad Warp, expand top left, top right, bottom left and bottom right. So you can see the four points on the screen as well. I'm going to move the top left point to, to the right by 100 pixels. So I'm going to type in negative 860 which should move it to the right by 100 pixels top right I'm going to type in 1060 it should move it to the right by 100 pixels and bottom left this one should be negative 1060 if not if I'm not mistaken uh, which will move it to the left by 100 pixels and bottom right it should be 860 which will move it to the left by 100 pixels so now you have your skewed text and now what we can do is you can see that we have this empty space on the left and on the right side of our text and we don't want that so we can go to the composite chart properties and reduce the width of our composite chart so I'm going to start with 1300 and click on OK so I think that's almost fine you can further decrease this if you want to be precise let's do 1200 and you can see that it just chops off your text which we don't want. So I'm going to undo this and I'm going to set this to 1300 which is fine. And now we can go to media and create a new composite chart. I'm going to call this text one copies and um, duration 10 seconds with 1920, 1080 and 30 FPS and click on OK. I'm going to drag in this text one into this comp and now we will apply the clone effect to create copies of our text so search for clone and apply it on the text go to the controls expand the clones and the first thing that will change is the clone mode I'm going to set that to dual so you have the clone from the left and on the right side as well so horizontally it's okay now we need to change the we need to add the text or the clones vertically as well so we have the position offset over here but if I try to increase the Y value, it is going to move the X value as well, which we don't want. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to duplicate the clone effect, control D. And on the second clone, I'm going to now increase the position offset. And now it will create copies vertically as well. So something like that. You can reduce the gap between these two text layers by going back to the first clone and you have the position offset. You can just bring it closer if that's what you want. I'm going to set this to 1200. I'm going to copy this and paste it in the second clone effect as well. Okay, so once you have your text, then all you have to do is just simply animate it. So you can just create a trans go to transform, create a position keyframe, go to the end and just keep on dragging it to the left and up to this point so I can see that there is an empty space over here and we need to fill it in so I can go back to 
the effects clone one and I can increase the number of copies I'm gonna set this to four and see it, it will just fix, fill it in what I'm gonna also do is go to transform and set the scale to 50% yeah that is really important and you can notice that we have more empty space to fill it fill in so let me just drag this to the left so that I can just see this entire word the triangle and I'm going to increase the number of clones so I'll just set that to around 8 which should uh, which should be fine and it will just fill in all the text all the empty space okay so if we take a look at the animation this is what we have created so far okay so we need to create the similar animation but we you can see the text right now is skewed to the right we need to create a text which is skewed to the left so what we can do is we can create a duplicate of text one Control d to duplicate it and i'm going to call this text two double click on that and let's select the uh, text layer go to controls effects quad warp expand top left top right bottom left bottom right and just hold the control key on the keyboard and click on these numbers and it will just skew your text to the left and now you can go to layout and just click on this button that says or the icon that says mirror vertical all right that is awesome now we can go back to media and create text one uh, create a duplicate of text one copies control d to duplicate it and i'm going to call this text two copies double click on that and i'm going to uh, get rid of this layer or i can just turn it off and drag in text two inside this comp and we'll just copy the effect from text one comp control c and control v and we'll also copy the transform effects as well the position and the scale so control c and control v if that didn't work then you can just do this again and go to transform and select position and scale control v okay so we have the same animation all right cool so we can get rid of the second text layer we don't want that anymore okay now i want to create a new composite chart i'm going to call this main this will be our main comp duration 10 seconds long 19 20 10 80 30 fps and click on ok and i want to i'll put a link in the description just download this image and bring it inside head film and just bring it inside this composite chart Okay, now what you have to do is just select this image then select the freehand mask tool and just have to mask out the uh, the path here so you see the red path we have the blue path and the green path so we have to just mask it out so i'm going to zoom in and just click to create a point click again and we'll just create this path and you can just zoom out using the control and the scroll wheel to zoom in and out and then you can also use the right mouse key to move around the canvas so i'm going to zoom in and move around and just click left click to create a point okay so we have our first shape uh, you can just rename this to red let's bring in the same image again and let's uh, trace the blue path over here Okay, the second path is done. Rename this to blue and bring in the uh, bring in the image and start creating the path for the green area as well. Okay, so we are done. So we can just rename this to green. And yeah, so once you do that, you'll have three paths. First one will be red. Then we have the blue and then we'll have the green all right so the next step is to create a composite chart of each and every layer so i'm going to right click and click on make composite chart i'm going to say uh, i'm going to select these two options current timeline and move with layer and click on ok let's close this let's close these composite charts as well and do the same thing with blue layer as well make composite chart select these two options click on ok and do it the same thing with the green, green layer as well. 
So now we can bring in the text to copies. I'm going to put this on top of red composite chart. And what I want to do is I want the I want this text to be inside this red path. So to do that, we can use code effects and use the set matte effect and apply it on the text. I'm going to controls, expand the set matte. I'm going to set the source layer to red composite chart. I'm going to set the blend to subtract and then click on the inward option. So now as you can see, your text animation will be inside this composite chart. So let's go back to media tab and bring in text one copies. Put this on top of the blue comp and do the same thing. Apply the set mat on the text. Go to control set mat. I'm going to set the source layer to blue composite chart. Blend to subtract and click on the inward option. Now your text will be visible only in this blue area. Now let's bring in the go to media tab bring in text one copies and put it on top of the green composite chart and do the same thing apply the set mat controls set the source layer to green composite chart set the blend to subtract and click on the inward option now we need to make sure that these text layers are 3d so select these three layers and click on this icon and from the list select 3d plane and it will ask you to add a camera and click on yes then on the first layer, the text, the red one, I'm going to expand it, transform, and we will change the Y rotation. I'm going to set this to 33 and Z rotation to 56. All right. And then we'll go to the green layer or let's go to the blue comp, the text layer about the blue comp, expand it with transform and here I want to set the rotation Y. I'm going to set that to 180. And then we'll go to uh, the text layer above the uh, green composite chart. Go to the transform and I want to change the green, the rotation X on this one to 33. And after you do that, we can pre now close these uh, these uh, the composite charts we don't want that anymore the green blue and the red comp so you can see we are almost done we have the text animation as we want but we can still see that we have this empty space over here so you can select the text and just move it down till it matches up properly and maybe I'll just move it a little bit further so what I'm trying to do is I want this triangle, the text, as you can see, it's not, it's cut up. So I will just bring it down so that I can just read this entire text. You can also, what you can do is just scale it down as well. Hold the shift key and just click on one of these points and just drag it in so that you scale it down pro proportionally. And now you can just move it around. So just try to I'm just trying to push it down so that I can uh, read the entire text. So now that's looking good. Uh, let's you see the second text, um, this one. So, <clears throat> okay, on this one again, we will we want to make sure that we can read the strict text properly. So let's just move it uh, somewhere over here. Uh, you can hold the shift key and just scale it down and just move it around. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to be precise with the positioning and select the last text layer and we can just uh, move it around as well. So let's just move it over here and just scale it down so that we can just fit in this text on this path over here. Okay, that looks good. Uh, so let's just see this animation but as you can see at the top it just it's looking weird at the top so I can just move this up like that and maybe I'll just put it over here I can still read the text okay so let's just play this animation and still we have the some issue over here so let me just scrub through the time I can see the uh, they are not at the same level so you can select the text layer 
this one and I'm just going to move this a little bit to the top so that it's leveled properly and you can see that it's just going to cut off your text in this path which we don't want so I'm going to just so I'm going to scale it up like that and just try to center this okay so let's play this and that's it that's how we can create this abstract typography animation inside hitfilm pro if this video is helpful you know what to do smash that like button and also subscribe to this channel as i'm planning to make more tutorials on open source applications like kimp and inkscape as well so if you want to see more of those tutorials along with hitfilm and davinci resolve tutorials then make sure you subscribe to this channel thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one Thank you.